And welcome back. The new film Bee Nation follows the inspirational stories of six students in the first ever First Nations Provincial Spelling Bee in Canada. The doc captures the highs, the lows, and everything in between as the students strive to make it to the national championship in Toronto. Take a look. Oh, it's Hadrosaur. I said it wrong. Hadrosaur. H A D R O S A U R. Hadrosaur. And William, Casey Waysamat, and Lena Sletch have joined us now. Thank you so much for joining us. And in the commercial break, William was not so sure about being here, but William, this is so much easier than the spelling bees, don't you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you're selling that one. I don't know. William was just uh, watching himself in the monitor there. Uh, you, you, you're like the rest of us. We don't like to look at ourselves on, on film. But Lena, let me uh, ask you, is it true that you first learned the spelling bee as a way uh, to help uh, your uh, own son spell better? That is true. Yeah. I was, um, my son tends to be a phonetic speller and I was looking for a website or an app or something that could help him with that and I came across the Spelling Bee of Canada website, okay. which I had never seen before. I didn't even know we had a national spelling bee in this country, which is sort of remarkable. And um, on a whim I called and I started chatting with uh, Julie Spence, who's the founder. Spelling Bee of Canada has been around for 30 years. And we were chatting and in that conversation I just asked her is there anything special this year about the spelling bee and she said well it's funny that you should ask it's the first ever First Nations Provincial Spelling Bee that will be part of the National Spelling Bee this year. Um, and as soon as she said that I just became so curious I thought wow this this sounds really interesting she put me in touch with Pauline Favel who's the president of the First Nations Provincial Spelling Bee and in that conversation um, she was just so passionate and so excited about it and um, and she I remember the question she asked she asked me she said why not us you know why not mm -hmm. First Nations kids participating yeah, what does competing? this do for the kids Lana? Um, especially for kids who've never been at a spelling bee before I think um, I mean I, I I love competition I think competition is great and um, for a child who's never been up on stage alone before, you know, I think it builds confidence. I think it's empowering. I think um, the whole process of learning 400 words, you know, that alone is such a great thing for them. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I think spelling bees are, are wonderful. You go deeper in this doc as well. Yes, it's all centered around the spelling bee, but you speak openly with the families about breaking down stereotypes. What did you want? What did you want the audience to walk away with? I think there's a certain image in this country of First Nations people um, and when I went out there I saw something completely different you know um, I got to really know the family spend time with them and I witnessed parents who were supporting loving and warm and really pushing education um, and I wanted to show that to people we don't get to see that intimate side of First Nations people very often yeah. Yeah. All right, William, we're not going to let William no, off the hook here. No, we're not. <laughs> William, spell? No, no, no. I <laughs> what, what was it like for you to come to Toronto? It was, it was the first time ever in a plane for you, too, is that right? Oops. Yeah? What was that like? Was that scary? Was it fun? It was fun and scary. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the spelling bees. What is the best part of going into the spelling bees? Um, the spelling part. The spelling part. And what is the worst part? The spelling part? The spelling part, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> getting, What's the worst part? What's that? Getting your word wrong. Yeah. yeah. And I, when you get it wrong, I, William, when you get it wrong, when you got it wrong, I got it wrong. Because I, I, I had tears coming down my face, my friend, when you got it wrong. So I was there with you watching it. And it was okay, though, because you did awesome. He knew that word, too. Can I have it? There we go. Word. All right, well, if you're in the Toronto area, you can see B Nation at Hot Docs uh, tonight and uh, tomorrow. Lana and William, Thank you guys so much for dropping by. I appreciate it. You guys are Thank welcome. You. <laughs>